David Letterman began his tenure as a late-night talk show host with The David Letterman Show on NBC, which ended in 1980. Over a decade later, he returned back to the world of late night with The Late Show on CBS, which debuted in 1993. After 33 years and 4,261 episodes, Letterman filmed his final episode of the program on May 20th, 2015. Dave's career was filled with many high points and low points. The Ed Sullivan Theater, the historic locale where the show was filmed for so many years, was more often than Letterman probably would have liked the setting for some of the most controversial, scandalous, and talked-about moments in TV history. In this video, we'll look back at several controversial interviews from David Letterman's glory years that probably shouldn't have been aired on TV. Bill O'Reilly on January 3, 2006, Letterman invited conservative media personality Bill O'Reilly onto his program. The interview quickly devolved into a pretty heated argument over the war in Iraq. The interview eventually became so tense that Letterman couldn't seem to prevent himself from taking a few low-blow jabs at his guest. At one point, Dave accused O'Reilly of putting words in his mouth, just like how he put artificial facts in his head. Letterman followed that up by quipping that 60% of what Bill was saying was probably crap. Eventually, the two managed to let bygones be bygones and set aside their differences. Even though they seemingly were able to patch things up, O'Reilly eventually made another appearance on The Late Show in March 2015. Not surprisingly, things got pretty dicey once again. Madonna Arguably the single most controversial interview Letterman ever conducted was his March 31, 1994 interview with Madonna. Right off the bat, things got off to a rocky start. As soon as Madonna sat down, Letterman joked that his guest had slept with some of the biggest names in show business. Madonna appeared to be visually uncomfortable and kind of peeved after that remark. But even Letterman wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. During an awkward exchange that included several passive-aggressive insults and innuendos, Madonna managed to say the F-word 14 times. Because of that, the episode is one of the most censored late-night television episodes in history. Paris Hilton in 2007, shortly after the hotel heiress was arrested and served time for violating her probation after she received an alcohol-related reckless driving charge, she made an appearance on The Late Show. At that point, she hadn't done an interview in months because she didn't want to talk about her legal troubles or jail stint. Letterman's team repeatedly contacted her PR people to try to get her to come on the show. After several no's, eventually Hilton agreed to go on to promote her fragrance line. Her team made an agreement with Letterman that discussion of her jail sentence was off-limits. Despite these terms, as soon as the interview began, Letterman immediately pushed her to talk about the subject. For several uncomfortable minutes, Hilton faced a barrage of questions she wasn't prepared to answer. It almost seemed like Dave made it his mission to humiliate her because, right from the get-go, he asked her how much she liked her jail time. He then grilled her for several minutes about what the food was like and what she had learned from the experience. Hilton eventually responded to his onslaught of personal questions by saying she had, quote, moved on and didn't want to discuss it, but Letterman pressed the issue. Hilton looked distressed and embarrassed, but Letterman didn't seem to care in the slightest. After leaving the stage, Paris was reportedly in tears, crying and shaking. Fortunately, her sister Nikki was there to comfort and support her. Lindsay Lohan the since-retired Parent Trap actress stopped by the Ed Sullivan Theater for a chat with Dave in 2013 to promote her latest flick, Scary Movie 5. But similarly to how he seemed obsessed with Paris Hilton's troubles, Dave seemed far less interested in talking about her professional career and hit her with a steady stream of questions about her forthcoming admittance to a drug rehabilitation facility. At one point, Lohan stated she had expected Letterman to have played nice and they hadn't talked about any of what he was quizzing her about in the pre-interview. Despite the fact that Lohan was obviously uncomfortable and had stated her healing process wasn't a joking matter, Letterman continued to berate her with questions and jokes about rehab and her previous struggles with addiction. By the end of the interview, Lohan was in tears. Janet Jackson after the infamous wardrobe malfunction at 2004's Super Bowl halftime show, Janet and Justin Timberlake were subjected to a mountain of scrutiny for what many suspected to be an intentional act of voyeurism. Shortly after the big game and ensuing media fiasco, Jackson appeared as a guest on The Late Show. Letterman proceeded to spend the brunt of the interview trying to get Jackson to divulge details about the controversial nip slip. As soon as he started prodding her, Jackson told Letterman she didn't want to relive any of that fateful evening. Letterman flat out ignored her requests to change the subject and questioned her repeatedly about whether the moment had been pre-planned. 
Jackson denied this allegation several times while remaining composed. Later on, Jackson said there were more important things in the world to be focused on. Shifting away from that topic, Letterman then asked Jackson about her brother Michael Jackson, who had been arrested on charges of child molestation months prior. Jackson shut the questioning down immediately, saying she would not discuss the matter. Only at the last few seconds of the interview did Letterman ask her about her latest album, Demita Joe. Jennifer Aniston Dave's interview with the Friends actress began fairly normal, despite asking her if she was naked during an anecdotal story she told about meeting her fans in a steam room. Later in the interview, he interrupted to ask if he could try one thing. He then shuffled up his chair close to the actress, placing his hand firmly on her shoulder and put a strand of her hair into his mouth. She reacted as expected by screaming and asking him what he was doing. Aniston appeared extremely disturbed and confused as Dave continued to suck on the piece of hair until it fell out of his mouth. He handed Jennifer a tissue to dry her slobber-soaked hair. Dave then apologized, albeit insincerely, and said it must have been something to do with the steam room story. Letterman said she screamed like she was traumatized. Aniston responded by saying she had been. Gwen Stefani During her five-minute interview with Letterman, Stefani discussed her new album, clothing line, and marriage to Gavin Rossdale. Between asking her various questions about her projects, Letterman threw in compliment after compliment about her looks. Later, he said she smelled great as well. Towards the end of the interview, while discussing her latest record, Letterman made one last seemingly unwanted remark by telling Gwen she had tremendous legs. Crispin Glover On July 28, 1987, Glover showed up to do Letterman to promote his latest film, River's Edge. Unbeknownst to Dave or likely anyone, Crispin decided to do the interview in character. He wore a wig and platform shoes and behaved erratically and awkwardly throughout the incredibly uncomfortable-looking chat. At one point, he got up and almost kicked Letterman in the face, causing the host to shut the interview down and walk off the set. Drew Barrymore In what has gone down in history as one of the most memorable late-night moments of all time, Drew Barrymore, after finding out it was Dave's 48th birthday, decided to give her host a very special, spontaneous birthday present. Barrymore appeared on The Late Show previously, but this time in January of 1995, after telling a story about dancing at a nude performance art show in New York City, Drew hopped up on top of Dave's desk, danced, and quickly flashed him. Farrah Fawcett the Charlie's Angel accused Letterman of making fun of her, which of course he was, during a very painful-to-watch interview on Letterman in 1997. For nearly 20 minutes, Fawcett told several long, nonsensical, and at times creepy stories that seemed like they would never end. She was there to promote a Playboy issue she was on the cover of and a new pay-per-view special she'd been a part of, but it seemed very likely she was on something at the time. Farrah seemed confused, disoriented, and downright incoherent throughout the segment. At one point, she looked back at the set's backdrop and said wow, as if she thought it was actually New York City she was looking at. From start to finish, the interview was like a train wreck happening in slow motion. But even so, Fawcett seemed to be having a great time. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these interviews was the most shocking to you? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.